Supergirl Season 6, Episode 2, Title, A Few Good Women. Now, this episode is a pretty good episode. I mean, the scene where Kara, you know, as Supergirl goes and hover over Lex and says, I want the truth! And then Lex replies, you can't handle the truth! And he does this massive rant and says, you, you want me on that wall, you need me on that wall. I use words like honor, loyalty, yeah, as as my Bible, you want to use it as a punchline. <laughs> that didn't happen. It would be it would be hilarious if they start quoting a few good men, but they don't do that. They don't do that in this episode. But outside of that joke, that probably a second joke. This episode is pretty, is pretty good because what you have is this level of desolation with the characters. You know, in last week, Lex has ca uh, basically put Kara Supergirl in the fan design. And I just realized, saying into the fan design, you start thinking about one of the quote Top Gun now. For God's sakes, I feel bad saying, making a f the few good men joke anyway. So, but you know, that level of desperation with Team Supergirl of we need to get Kyle out, we need to get Kyle out. And you realize, like, knowing it's 20 episodes, you, you know, Kyle's not going to be making it out of. Defend the zone for at least for a couple of episodes, and seeing Kyle's reaction, um, seeing Kyle's reaction of being in the fans zone, knowing the last the last time she was in, she was in a pod, so that there was a level of attention. Now there isn't. We do meet her father, uh, which I would not be shocked. They do pull a little bit of Doctor Oz, just saying, um, or trying to do some weird annoying thing. There's the Phantoms, they're, who actually, there's a level of horror towards them, which, here's the thing, like, there's an act, at the, it's an episode of Supergirl, there's an action sequence at the end, and the action sequence at the end with them, it's actually a pretty well good action sequence for, you know, the CW, because, you know, they don't have the biggest budget in the world, uh, they don't have, you know, all X and Y and all that and seeing a really well a really well done camera work with an action scene like you know there's shots of like even just like Alex pointing her gun and the camera focuses on the gun while firing like this or like you know Dreamer is kind of just you know she's just shooting stuff out of, her hands and it it's pretty well put together it's like wow you they may put they might have put, because it's the final season add a little bit more money than they probably normally would if it was just another season six and they were going to get a season seven which are, which are, they are not um but the thing is is it did it did felt like okay season six now has officially stopped and it is just setting out the groundwork setting out the situation of the characters. Now, the stuff with Lex was always great. I mean, this, I, I will keep saying this, this is the best version of Lex that we have got given so far. You know, he is this artist, like, he, he, the thing about Lex so far is he believes that he's the smartest guy in the room. And he is going to show it, and he's going to appeal, basically, I'm the smartest guy in the room, all you guys are idiots, and him in court, and he's, him in court, offending himself and the way he's spinning it. And it's that whole thing of like, you're an asshole, but you ain't, you ain't wrong. <laughs> um, so it's a weird, it's a, one of those situations on those lines. It's, it's probably not the best thoughts that I had on the episode, but it's, it's it's a good episode. It's a good episode. I enjoyed it, and and give you know, so far with two out of two episodes, uh, two two, you know the first two episodes, season six is on a good journey. It's on a good journey. Two down, eighteen more to go.